Tasmanians tend to have different opinions about beach shacks and what exactly it is that makes and defines a beach shack but something I think is agreed upon is the shack is a humble structure typically they're usually built by the owners and added on to and extended it's not designed to be a perfect structure it is a place where people come together spend time with each other to be still to find a bit of safety and quietness from the busyness of life Today we are checking out a quintessential Tasmanian beach shack. This is what I would call an original beach shack, the shack at Sheepwash Bay. Now I have been to Sheepwash Bay before, a few months back I showed you the Hyde, which is a luxury tiny house in Sheepwash Bay. The same owners of the Hyde, they also own the shack and the shack is where it actually all started from. So we're going back here to where it all began and uh, gonna show you a glimpse into a bygone era of Tasmanian shack life. At the entrance to the shack, there is this bench with cooking facilities and then inside the shack, you have a sink and more bench space to cook and prepare food. Just the timber and the feel of the cabin, it's really warm, rustic and cosy, it has a very romantic feel inside. The space is open plan and is heated by a little wood-fired heater. This shack has not one but two baths, so you actually have the option to bathe outside on the deck or inside the cabin as well. Towards the back of the cabin you have a queen size bed and then there's a really lovely little day bed, great spot to sit and read and relax. The cabin opens through some French doors onto a little balcony where over a hedge you have glimpses out across Sheepwash Bay. As mentioned out here you have the second bath. Whilst this is a rustic cabin, it's off grid, it's quite simple. It is at the same time a little bit luxurious in the sense that you've got not one but two baths so you can bathe in or outdoors. 30 second trek through the paddock and uh, you're at your own little private long drop toilet. It's got great views and certainly is a very grounding experience. Shacks have a very special place in the hearts of Tasmanians. If you have any thoughts about what it is that makes a shack experience a shack, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching, my name's Ben and I look forward to seeing you in the next property tour.